It's a glorious sunny morning here in Inishowen, so it's a perfect time to take a stroll through Harry's Wall Garden and see how we're getting on. What are you doing with this section? Well, this obviously is the orchard, so these are all apple trees, but there's a nice space in here, so we're going to put plum trees in here, pear trees in here. Um, we're also looking at maybe putting beehives at the bottom and doing a bit of compost and recycling from the restaurant on the lower section. But we're also going to sow this totally with kind of wild flowers in between the orchard just to get more insects in here, more pollination going on and more life. Um, so really we're looking at keeping the orchard, adding extra trees and just over here beside the greenhouse we're going to have about 70 fruit bushes. Um, Greenhouse is looking great now because totally cleaned up since the last time we put up here. That was one of the big jobs to be honest because it hadn't been used in so long and the old vine in the greenhouse had totally overgrown that. But on a nice sunny day like this today, I mean the heat in there just now is fantastic and the light coming in there is fantastic. And you get that extra warmth because of the wall garden. So it's really good to be honest. Nice to see the progress because here we have the raised beds literally just being built. and. We're only really nine days into the project, so raised beds is a significant milestone. Uh, one of the hardest jobs then is going to be getting a lot of soil needs to go into that greenhouse now to fill up the raised beds. We might be talking about a lorry load, lorry load and a half of soil to be wheelbarrowed in there, so that's a big job for us. But it sets us up nicely for planting, um, hopefully by next week. So by the end of February we should have half the greenhouse planted. This section, again, you can see some of the older parts of the greenhouse. It's really interesting how this would have worked many years ago because, well, first of all, we know there was asparagus planted here at one stage. So we're going to resurrect the asparagus beds. That's a kind of three year project before you'll get the fruits of the asparagus. But picture March time, a couple of years' time in Harry's, will be a big feature of asparagus coming out in the menu. Otherwise, it's very hard to get Irish asparagus, but it will really benefit being close to the wall and some of the heat coming off that wall. What's interesting in how they used to grow some of the fruit years ago when they must have grown exotics in this garden because every now and again we have evidence of chimney bricks and they clearly lit fires along this old wall many years ago. I'm not sure exactly what they, they grew around them but the heat of that would have let you grow stuff that wouldn't normally grow at all in this part of the world. This is another example of how they used to grow things. We think there might have been exotics in here of something like pineapples because believe it or not this sort of when it was closed in was actually powered by another chimney furnace um, heat system here that, that used to pump heat into this um, and again that, that would have given the potential uh, many years ago to, to grow fairly exotic stuff which is really interesting. So there's raised beds further down here or what they would have had as cold beds so many years ago they would have grown stuff in the greenhouse and then sat them into these cold beds before planting them into the ground it was kind of basically climatizing some of the plants before they would have planted them outside. So we're going to use some of these as our composting pits for now. Um, so we're just literally digging some of these out. Like some of this hasn't been touched in a long number of years. Luckily it has been used for horse manure um, and other things already so we have a rich soil. So that's some of the first soil going into the raised beds today. Um, but I think there's going to be some of our organic materials, some of our food wastes. We're going to be moving them through the three pits and creating a lovely, basically a homemade fertilizer for the greenhouse. You'll see a big change in the greenhouse from when we first entered it there just nine days ago. The whole thing needed scrubbed, washed down. We needed to make sure there was no contamination, no germs. The thing's sparked in now and ready to go. We had a couple of panes of glass to replace, but nothing major. Considering the structure is relatively old, it's in marvellous condition and really makes a difference on a nice sunny day like this. The whole garden, you can see, you know, you can see how it's working because even the heat in this garden today and it's a relatively cold day, but the sun's really warming things up. It's actually roasting inside that greenhouse, so the quicker we get finished here now in the next couple of days, we can start planting within the next week, so really looking forward to that. <laughs> 